It's 13 Friends for Life Day. Time to remind your friends for life to know her normal. And that includes everything from scheduling that yearly mammogram to doing self breast exams and knowing your family history of breast cancer. A new study found that having higher levels of vitamin D may help the odds of surviving breast cancer. Emily Matthew with Metropolitan Works for Cancer Patients on their post cancer diet and nutrition, such important things for cancer patients to pay attention to. So, what's your opinion of this new study that suggests? that vitamin D may improve survival outcomes for women with breast cancer. Yeah, so, um, you know, certainly it's exciting uh, to see this study that's been done. There's been a lot of research done as far as vitamin D supplementation supporting immune health, bone health, cardiovascular health. So it's great to see something come out for breast cancer uh, population. Um, you know, looking at the study, it looks like it does certainly suggest that there is a correlation between um, sufficient vitamin D levels and um, survival rates uh, for breast cancer patients. So that is very exciting. Although there may not be um, a direct cause, but certainly a correlation. Um, there was another study done called the VITAL study that did, um, did not find that there was a, re a relationship. So uh, there still needs to be research done, but it is very promising. And so as a result of this, do you think women with breast cancer should have their vitamin D levels checked? Uh, yeah, I do actually. Um, you know, it's a pretty um, pretty low uh, low risk test. Just some simple blood work. Um, it's a low cost supplement, um, and it does uh, not only can affect breast cancer health, but also affect um, and support other parts of our health moving forward. It, it really is a simple step to to try to ensure you know that you're doing everything you can to make sure that you survive your breast cancer. Do you have any concerns about increasing vitamin D for women who have breast cancer? Yeah, you know, vitamin D is a pretty, um, pretty mild supplement, really few to if any side effects, um, but it is still important to check with your provider, uh, make sure you're taking the appropriate dose for your age, um, for your race, for any other health conditions that you have, because it can vary depending on those, those things. Um, you know, despite it being a really low risk medication with few side effects, certainly taking too much can cause some health issues or side effects. You know, I kind of talk to my patients, I always kind of say, you know, our body is kind of like Goldilocks. You don't want too much or too little of something. You kind of want just right. So it's really important to, to um, make sure you're not taking too much either. So what is the one takeaway that you would like women to know about this new finding about vitamin D and breast cancer? Yeah, so, you know, I, I, had, I couldn't think of one. I had to do quick three. Um, one is that I just really encourage all women to follow up with their uh, primary care physician to get their annual physicals done, um, no matter what, if they have a history of breast cancer or not, because this is where their vitamin D levels are checked routinely. Uh, number two, um, if you have a history of breast cancer, talk to your oncologist, uh, see if this is something worth pursuing. And then number three, make sure you get your annual mammogram, no matter what, stay up to date on those mammograms. Those are all three very important things to continue to do. All right, thank you so much, Emily, for talking with us today. If you'd like to read the study on vitamin D and breast cancer, I've got that for you on 13onyourside.com.